everybody, Shield Media included, is finally ta- or finally, excuse me, starting to accept that the Flash was uh, absolutely a dud. Um, it had everything going against it, not just the the co-star or the the actual star. I said co-star because apparently there were two of them. <laughs> Um, weird storyline stuff. This, f- the fact that there's going to be a reboot. So how much skin in the game do, do they have with DC Universe? Just a whole lot going against it right now, and really just the overall uh, a theme of what's happening in Hollywood, where there's a lot of duds being laid, eggs being laid, if you will. And right now, as being said by the, the the direct here, the Flash becomes the worst box office flop in a superhero movie history and to me that may be the most impressive feat that i've ever seen after three weeks in theaters uh, the flash has become the worst box office flop in superhero movie history uh, and despite it being called the kind of movie we need now one of the best superhero movies ever by the likes of hollywood greats like tom cruise and dc studios head james gunn the movie has not had legs with the warner bros uh may have thought it would oh well we already knew that the film has floundered financially, suffering the worst box office returns from the second week in D.C. history after an already disappointing opening weekend. So it didn't start well and it ain't going to end well because of the Flash reported two hundred twenty million dollar budget and hundred fifty million dollar promotional budget. So you're talking on an upward of damn near four hundred million dollars uh, to pay for this. The movie is likely to to set loose. Or is set to lose two hundred million. That is insane. And Warner Bros. already has a lot of ills or a debt that they have inherited, and it's insane. Ezra Miller's uh, long gestating DC solo outing earned a meager five point twenty three million in the third weekend. It's just dead it, it, at this point. It's just nothing that, that it is that they can do to salvage this. It's absolutely dead on arrival. The nostalgia wasn't enough, and this is crazy. I think I talked about this on was a drunk stream, drunk three PO stream. Uh, or was it Valorant Renegades? One of the streams, maybe both. Where well, I said, look, man, there's a Flash movie, right? People that know me, yeah, I've let go of all of this stuff for Marvel and DC. But Flash is the character that got me into comics. So if there was something that I should have been enthusiastic about, this should have been it. And they do not have the pizzazz. They do not have Hollywood's lost their entire mystique. And it's sad that uh, they're releasing a lot of just stuff that eh, is just not really what people people want. And um, now I've long let go of this stuff, but even normies aren't even following along or following suit. And this is why it was uh, probably a mistake to try to cater to them. So they're in trouble. Hollywood's in trouble in general. And for a movie as such, with definitely with all this bait, uh, to, to lose $200 million, that is very, very, very significant. And again, as we've discussed in, in other videos, Disney not doing well other aspects of hollywood not doing well this is something that you have to discuss and i know they're going to continue to blame superhero fatigue because what superhero fatigue does unfortunately is allow them to get away with it so it's never their fault it's not anything content related it's not a content problem it's not the fact that hollywood has made it abundantly clear at least their actors actresses and uh, producers directors that they don't really like you or certain pockets of the uh let's say the uh definitely in america so maybe that has something to do with it or a lot to do with it or the content just absolutely terrible going with odd storylines to depict Maybe that is a part of the problem with the superhero genre right now and why it's not doing as well. Because it is, but they will never admit that. And they get get it out by saying, well, it was just superhero fatigue, right? People are just tired of it. It's not that we suck. It's just people are just just unfortunately tired of the genre. That's letting them off easy. Wow, worst box office in history. That's oh, as far as a superhero movie. Oh, man, they're about to take a massive L. This is insane. If you like this video and want to get into a new comic book universe, visit Ripperverse.com. Our first campaign for Ice Sum 1 hit $3.7 million, and the pre-order campaign for Ice Sum 2 is currently live. So go check it out and watch the official launch trailer, which is the first animation of Ripperverse Studios.